Welcome to What is a Pacemaker? Lecture 1, Basics of Heart Anatomy and Conduction System. My name is Dr. Jeff Williams, and I'm Director of Invasive Cardiac Electrophysiology and the Heart Rhythm Center of Lebanon Cardiology Associates at the Good Samaritan Hospital. The objectives of today's lecture is to be able to recognize the basic anatomy of the heart and electrical conduction system. The basic anatomic structures of the heart are shown below. Blood returns from the body and enters the right atrium. The blood leaves the right atrium through the tricuspid valve and it enters the right ventricle. The right ventricle then pumps the blood out through the pulmonary valve and into the lungs. The blood is oxygenated in the lungs and is returned to the left atrium. The blood leaves the left atrium through the mitral valve and enters the left ventricle. The left ventricle pumps the oxygenated blood through the aortic valve to the rest of the body. It then returns the blood to the heart via the right atrium. The electrical conduction system of the heart is shown below. The heart's natural pacemaker, the sinoatrial node, is located in the top right chamber of the heart called the right atrium. The SA node sends a signal to the upper chambers called the right and the left atria, and the lower chambers, which are called the right and left ventricles via the atrioventricular node. The AV node transmits the electrical signal to the bottom chambers via the left and right bundle branches. The left bundle branch is comprised of left posterior and left anterior fascicles. Fascicles is another term for divisions or branches. Often the patient has a slow heart rate because the electrical connection between the top, the signal from the SA node, and the bottom, the ventricles, of the heart is diseased. This is called AV block. The most common type of pacemaker involves placing leads in the right atrium and right ventricle. The electrocardiogram and its relation to heart timing and pumping is important to understand. This figure shows a typical electrocardiogram tracing and shows how this waveform represents the electrical and pumping actions of your heart. The P wave corresponds to the electrical activation of the right and left atria. The right and left atria contract and pump the blood to the right and left ventricles, respectively. The PR interval is the time it takes for the electrical activation from the SA node through the AV node to the right and left ventricles. The QRS complex is the electrical representation of the right and left ventricle contracting and pumping blood out of the heart. The T wave corresponds to repolarization or resetting of the ventricle's electrical system prior to the next contraction of the heart. Want to learn more? What is a pacemaker? A cardiologist guide for patients and care providers goes into detail on all aspects of pacemaker implantations for patients and their care providers. It's available in print and electronic version at Amazon.com and see more lectures relating to pacemakers at heartrhythmcenter.com. Thank you for listening.